Hey, what's up guys? Buckskin Snuggy here with another tips video for Neverwinter. Now this one's in regards to gear score for the new level 60 players. Basically, uh, everyone's wondering, you know, when you hit level 60, what's the simplest way to crank up your gear score? And it's relatively, relatively simple. There's two main dungeons you want to be farming, and the first one is Cloak Tower. That is the tier 1 epic version. So basically, we take a quick look here. Uh, in the description, you can look down and you'll see that there are seals of the unicorn and tier 1 arms. Um, seals of the unicorn are what you're going to be using to purchase tier 1 epic gear. Uh, this dungeon does offer the tier 1 arms though, and the tier 1 arms are actually going to be better than the regular gear. So there's three bosses in the dungeon. Uh, the first one is Macrid the Fowl. Basically, as soon as you stomp the piss out of this guy, he's going to drop a couple of seals on the ground right where he dies. So you're going to really want to make sure you're grabbing these seals because you're going to farm this dungeon as much as you can to basically have your guy fully decked out in unicorn gear. So you grab the seals and then basically fight your way on to the next boss. And then the next boss, he also drops seals. And same with the last boss. And in this dungeon, you can take a look at the last chest. And even the chest actually offers some seals. So the second boss here is Throg the Ravenous. As soon as you kick the crap out of him, same thing. He's basically going to drop the seals. And, you know, wipe him out relatively quickly. Mop up some ads. Take a quick look. He drops about six seals. Each boss should relatively drop around like six to eight seals, which is kind of nice. So it shouldn't take you really too, too long to rack this up. And then you come over to the last boss here, Bloodscar. Basically wipe her out, mop up the ads. And yeah, so we quickly run over, grab the seals. Um, she does drop uh, tier one epic items, which is kind of nice. So you might get lucky and actually have some designated for your character. Uh, the difference between the unicorn gear that you can actually purchase and the set or the the other tier one arms and tier one stuff that's offered from these dungeons is basically unicorn gear does not give you uh, set bonuses but the other stuff does and set bonuses are really beneficial but you don't really need tier one set gear because you basically just want to get your gear score high enough so that you can get into the second dungeon and basically farm that out so as you can see here I got lucky and ended up getting a tier one helmet for my character, um, these chests do drop shards, and shards are really good for weapon enchantments or armor enchantments, but that will kind of come in later down the road when you actually have them. You probably don't really have to worry about that right now, but yeah, I will be making a video in regards to those. Okay, so quickly, as soon as you got enough seals, you want to take a quick mad dash over into the marketplace, and you're going to go to the Seals of the Unicorn vendor, and he's located right in the corner of the marketplace. I believe it's the northeast corner. Just take a quick mad dash over here, and we'll see what this guy has. And if you look at some of the items, you know, it's, it's pretty nice. Uh, as you can see, I'm a control wizard, so it's basically decked out for a control wizard, but if you're a different character, it will be suited to your needs. But as you can see, you can get rings, belts, uh, main hand, off hand, armor, helmets, boots, everything you need to totally pimp your guy out. If we take a quick look on the map here, this is where he's located, north northeast corner of the marketplace. So once you're fully decked out in that gear, the next dungeon you're going to want to be doing is Pirate King. Okay, so Pirate King has a gear score requirement of 8,300. And in this one, you're going to be getting Seals of the Drake. Okay, so Seals of the Drake is basically tier 2 armor that you can purchase. Okay, um, In this one, you can also see that you can get a tier 2 offhand and neck, uh, just as like before. The tier 2 offhand and neck that is provided in this dungeon will actually be better than Drake equipment for the offhand and neck. So try to, try to use those if you potentially can or you do come across them. The mini bosses in this dungeon do actually drop tier 2 equipment sometimes so you can get kind of lucky and maybe get a set piece and like I said before try to always go for set piece items as opposed to you know unicorn or drake gear. Drake gear is basically just good enough to get yourself into the other tier 2 epic dungeons because Lair of the Pirate King is the easiest tier 2 dungeon in the game so you can be farming this out quite a bit. It's also good for Astral Diamonds, just like I mentioned in my other video about farming Astral Diamonds. But yeah, as you can see, I ended up getting the Arcane Overseer slippers. Those are some not bad boots. I think those are actually Tier 1. I'm not really too sure. Don't quote me on that. But yeah, he drops shards, equipment, 
and then here you go with the uh, seals so you basically quickly run over grab the seals and then move on to the next boss so the next boss is thick gristle he sometimes also drops tier 2 equipment he drops shards and drake seals you know so wipe him out and quickly try to run over and grab the seals in this one I was kind of a dumbass and I didn't actually record me picking up the seals but yeah he does kind of put up somewhat more of a fight just like the surgeon does as opposed to the tier 1 dungeons because there's a lot of mobs and whatnot but yeah just kick his ass basically run over kill the ads you know and then move on to the next boss the next boss is black dagger same thing for him he drops uh, tier 2 um, set gear once in a while I've also actually gotten like greater marks of potency, greater marks of power for this guy, and it's it's pretty good. It's pretty good. He's definitely going to put up more of a fight, but like I said before, he is the easiest tier 2 boss, so you know it shouldn't really put up too much of a fight. And when you do get this gear, it will set you up so that you could be basically running the other dungeons to get the set gear that give you the set bonuses. Um, I was kind of foolish here, and with my character, I went for Mage Lord stuff. I really actually should have went for High Viziers because High Viziers is better. So wipe him out, basically run over, grab the Drake Seals, and then you run over to the chest. And the chest, as always, when these dungeons will give you equipment, a shard, and Drake Seals. So it shouldn't really take you too much. You should be relatively maybe getting, you know, about 30 seals every time you do this. And I think the most expensive one is about 90 seals, so that's not really too bad. Um, run over to the uh, Drake Seal Vendor and take a look at the gear. Same thing as before. Main hand, off hand, you know, armor, uh, belt, rings, it's all there. He also does offer a companion for 200 seals. The War Rat is pretty decent. He maxes out at level 25. So now you should have enough high of a gear score to basically run off into the other two uh, tier 2 dungeons and get set pieces. So, you know, celebrate if you want, and I hope this helped out. Thanks, guys.